Go for it. All right, this is Quan for Dolly Lena. And we've just begun the season of fall, so we're in the sign of Libra. In the circle of animals, also known as the zodiac, Libra's the only one that doesn't have an animal. It's the scales, the scales of justice. So what I tend to tell all my Libra clients, that you're here to balance the ego, what's in my best interest, with the soul. What's in the best interest of my community, my family, my relationships? Libra discovers itself through the opposites. Earth is supposedly a kind of a crucible in the universe for the studying of opposites, the complementary energies of yang, masculine, and yin, feminine. So at this time, we're all called to balance out those aspects of ourselves that we suppress or even repress. Uh, we have an excellent opportunity to do this as the ruling planet of Libra, Venus, on October 8th through November 18th goes retrograde. In Greek mythology, they call Venus Aphrodite, and there are three aspects of her. you got Aphrodite Pandemos, which is the earthy, instinctive, biological needs that we, that of attraction, the so-called chemistry. Aphrodite Urania, which is the celestial, the shoulds, societal conditionings. I'm marrying or I'm connecting to this person because we have similar intellectual interests and or status. And then it's Aphrodite Apostrophia. That's the law of attraction that turns into the law of repel, repelling. So think about those six weeks, October 8th through the November 18th, and how do you deal with the law of attraction as well as eschewing those things that you don't value. And remember, the scales say what you don't deal with internally, you'll meet with externally. This is Quan Tracy Cherry. Thanks a lot.